What's up guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Arif and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a remote desktop software called AnyViewer. This is a new product from a company called Aomi Tech. They make a lot of backup software, a lot of utility based software for hard drives. And well, they are now throwing their hat into the ring for this. I will say right up front because I have to, this video was well, in a way sponsored by any viewer, they asked me to make a setup guide for them. And as a result, the pro version I have is one that they gave me. Other than that, there is nothing else going on here. And we're just going to quickly fly through the website because anything I have to say about the product will be done in the review. All you need to know about this software is it is a remote desktop software and there are different pricing models. So free professional enterprise. Go to anyviewer.com, you can check it out for yourself, see which one fits you the best, but that's totally a you thing. So let's go in and actually start with the software. We're gonna start by downloading it. And once I have it downloaded, we'll go through the UI and see what it's all about. Now that we have the program installed, let's take a look at the menu options and see what you have to work with. We'll start at the top and work our way down. So at the top is your login screen. Here is where you'll see what devices you have assigned, your managed devices, and any get your downloaders on anything that you need so you know you can put on ios or windows i asked them about an android app they didn't have a definitive answer i'm hoping in the future that they do get an android version because that will help this program immensely with adoption next we have our connect menu which is your main screen when you open up the program you hear you have your device id and then you have your temporary security code or if you want to start control, you can enter in your partner security code, which is what we're going to do for the server. Next, we have our device and here. You can see the devices I have the program on and what I've currently been connected to here. We have remote control, view the screen, lock properties, which is just all your IP information. So I'm not going to be clicking that. And here we have a little bit of extra stuff for power so you can reboot or shut down. Mm, it's all good. It's it's a fairly decent menu size and then we have settings and here we have three sub menus so starting at the top with recipient except remote control i'm going to probably turn this off and then allow temporary security code at the end of each remote connection or you can change it to every time the software restarts or you can manually change it i'll go back to the connect screen and follow up with this a little bit and then set my security code. So if you if you really don't trust their temporary one, you can always just set your own. Here we have little kind of tool tips just to tell you what each thing does. Next, we go down to controller, image quality, you can have high or low. Then we have hide the desktop wallpaper, uh, nope. And save the security code, uh, no. I am actually gonna keep hide the desktop wallpaper just because it does let you know there's a lot of things to let you know somebody's in your computer, but that's just one of them. Next, we have basic. So start any viewer with Windows. I'm going to turn that off and then prevent this device from automatically sleeping. I'm going to also turn that off because I like my computer to sleep when I'm not here. Let's go back to the connect screen. Like I said, here is your device ID and here is your temporary code. You can always change it as you want, or you can actually just shut the whole thing off altogether as we will see here. You can just shut it off altogether. I definitely would not advise that unless it's only going to be on an internal network with no internet connection whatsoever. So we're going to put that back to the way we found it. While you can change the password, I do want to point out that you cannot change your ID. I did email them and ask them about this because this can also be a big problem. And they said that this number is fixed. Hopefully in the future they'll change something, but for right now you're kind of SOL. And now we want to connect to the server. You can do that one of two ways. You can see I have the ID for the server, which where is it here? The server is 4363010036. We can connect. And look, there there it is. This is another feature I wanted to talk about because when you connect, you actually get like a little chat window. So, hi, this is Star Killer, And yeah, you are able to chat back and forth, which is really handy to have if you're using this in like 
a corporate environment. This is Sputnik. So the little chat windows are nice to have. You also get a little pop-up, which is cool on the computer that you're connecting from. And now you can just remote in and control your computer. Let's take a look at the menu at the top here. We have adaptive, which on my screen doesn't do a whole lot. Resolution, you can set it to what the monitors of the receiving computer is. So the native is 1920 by 1080. We're just gonna keep it there. Image quality, high or low. So we can set low quality. That doesn't do great. Put it back to high quality. And you can also say hide wallpaper if you wanna do that. Operation. You can see what advanced operations you want to do. Lock, log out, restart, shutdown, open up this PC, command line, task manager. You can read, but these are a fairly robust set of extra operations that you're able to do. And like I said, you can also message, which is this message here. And that's pretty much it. I did ask them about the side by side because I'm looking at this on a 4K monitor. And what I would like to do is isolate one monitor and be able to flip between the screens. Well, they have informed me that that is not possible. Now they are working on an update, but at present that is not something that is doable. That's a little bit unfortunate. And one of the, I wouldn't call it a major downside of the program, but it is kind of annoying when you're looking at text and it's all very, very small. That is a little bit of a downside to it. Let's close our connection to this. And that is the entirety of how to set up any viewer. It's a very simple, but very good program for what it is, especially at the free tier, where I feel like a lot of competitors have kind of lost their way on the free tiers. And this is a nice alternative to other web-based remote control systems. But I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, hey, drop a like, leave a comment. And if it didn't, drop a like, leave a comment. I don't care, YouTube calls it engagement all the same. If you wanna check it out, you can click the link in the description box down below. And yeah, guys, I've been Arif. This has been a tutorial of how to set up any viewer by Aomi Tech. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see all of you on the next video. Bye.